London. So I'm actually in London now and I think the last time I vlogged in Jersey was like a week ago. Um, since then I've had like my birthday, I'm now 25 years old, which is horrific and terrifying, but I'm 25, I had my birthday. Um, it was an okay day, it wasn't the best birthday I've ever had. Um, but I'm just glad that I was in Jersey for it. Um, but yeah, I'm now in London. I caught up with the last few people I needed to see this past week. Um, currently in London, we arrived at like 5 a.m. this morning. We had a red eye overnight. I'm currently running, it's now 4.30. Um, I'm currently running on maybe 30 minutes of sleep because I did not sleep on the plane. It was not a great flight. Um, just like really cramped, really uncomfortable, annoying people sitting in front of us scenario. Um, nothing to watch, so I read my book, tried to sleep but couldn't sleep. Um, and so yeah, we arrived really early this morning. We couldn't check in, so we dropped our bags off at the hotel, went and had breakfast, walked around for a couple of hours, um, which I think I caught like two clips of that beforehand. Um, and then yeah, we've just been back at the hotel. I finally got into my room um cute little cute little room but i tried to take a nap and i think i got like 30 minutes um and so i think mum and i are gonna run out i just got just got changed because i've literally been in the same clothes as the plane all day so i finally just had a shower got changed i think mum and i are gonna run out because we need to get some british plugs to charge our things because we didn't have any um and then we probably might get an early dinner and have you have an early night um, but yeah, this is my little hotel room. You walk in through that door and there's another door on there. Little, see, proof I tried to take a nap. Window out here, which looks out into the street. Cute little bathroom. I'm really scared people can see me through there. Shower, lots of little mirrors. Um, and yeah, and then the fit for the night is some American Eagle, no, yeah, American Eagle jeans, Converse, Steve Madden bag that I got from TJ Maxx, just a white tee and this blazer because it is cold here in London. Today was chilly and I love it so much, but I think mum's waiting for me downstairs now. So I'm gonna head out. This is so creepy. Mm. Guys, this is my hotel's elevator. Oh my god. This is low key terrifying. It's all wood and creaky. Mm. Walk up the stairs, but I wanted to try. You have to close it. Hello, it is a new day. It is the next day, it's our first full, actually no, yesterday was technically our first full day, but it was messed up with us being so tired. So today is like our first proper, like, let's go and do stuff day. We just went and had breakfast, breakfast, the place wasn't that great, so I'm not even going to really tell you about it. But the sun is out today, let me show you. The sun is out, it's still like, uh, currently like maybe 17 degrees, um, it's going to get to 20, I think, but it's going to cloud over and rain a bit later. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just, we've come back after breakfast. Then we're going to, we're working out if we can hire a car. Because I think we're going to, I'm going to drive. I've always wanted to go to Brighton and like see Brighton. So I thought it would be cool to drive down there. We can drive through some of the English countryside on our way, which I thought would be cool. Because it's something we've never done. We've never really left London. Um, and I want to live here, like, in the next year or so. 
So I like kind of want to do a bit more exploring. I mean, obviously I can do that when I'm here, but I want to do a little bit more now. So I thought it'd be cool to drive down the English countryside to the breach. Um, so I'm going to do it and I'm very excited about it. So we're going to see if we can hire a car and then we're going to work out what day is going to be a nice day to do it on because I think it's going to rain a few days while we're here, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, look at the sun. The sun is out today. We love a sunny London. This is my view, by the way. Not super exciting, but nice day. Harrods is literally down the end of that street there, um, which is very cool. Um, the fit today is very similar to the fit last night, although I think I'm going to be too hot. It's like warm outside. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do this. We're going to go over to Zara because Zara is literally right around the corner. And the only jackets I brought with me on this whole trip was this black glass and blazer and my denim jacket. And it's super hard to dress when you've only got two like outerwear options. So I wanted to bring my trench, Glassons trench, that I bought uh, like before I um, came here. But it just, it was going to take up too much of my suitcase, so I didn't bring it. But I wanted to wear it in London so bad. Um, but I might see if I can find another one while I'm here, maybe. Maybe. Um, or at least buy something else and see what else they have in Zara here. Because Zara on this side of the world is just so much better. But this is the vibes, this is the fit. It's basically the exact same outfit, just more suity gray pants and the same blazer same top just because I wanted something easy and then if it gets too hot I can whip off my blazer and then this bag which I actually bought um a TJ Maxx while we were here Steve Madden because the bag one bag I brought which I love is my crossbody checkered bag I always wear something spilled in it and the inside got ruined and the zip doesn't really work anymore so I tried to buy a new one here but they were sold out so I had to buy a, bag, a bigger bag anyway to carry more stuff since like when you're traveling you just carry a little bit more in your bag. So this is what I got. So this is probably just a bag I'll use on this trip because it's like, it's alright. I actually hate this scarf. I want to take this scarf off. Anyways, these are the vibes. I think I need to quickly charge my camera a little bit. But you guys, I'm so excited to be here. I love London so much. I want to move here probably end of next year. I would move tomorrow if I could but... I've got something very exciting starting in July that's going to take me a year. So that's kind of got my moving to the UK plans on hold for a little bit. Um, I will fill you in as we get a little bit closer to that. But I'm so excited for it. I'm going to try and take you along on a lot of it with me. Um, but yeah, we're going to go figure out what we're doing.
Now in Brick Lane. I'm in Trafalgar Square. There's the lions. Good morning everybody, it is Wednesday morning, it's another pretty nice day, it's supposed to rain but it was supposed to rain yesterday and it didn't so who knows, there's cloud, there's blue sky, we'll see, it's supposed to be 18 to 20 today I think and yesterday ended up being quite warm so yeah I'm having difficulty like figuring out like what to wear because um, we're doing a lot of walking um, like I think yesterday we did 25,000 steps kind of tend to walk everywhere we caught the tube a lot as well but we did walk a whole lot of places um, where did we go we did oh last night we ended up going to Moulin Rouge the show oh my god it was so good it was so much fun it was amazing would highly recommend it was at Piccadilly Theatre it was so good, I loved every second of it. So much fun, so funny, and they've updated all the songs in it, which I didn't realise. Oh my god, it was hilarious. Um, highly recommend doing that. But yeah, we did a lot of walking. We went over to like Brick Lane, looked at all the vintage shops over there, because I'd never been over like Shoreditch Way, and so we checked out Brick Lane. Um, and went to Trafalgar Square, went to Covent Garden. Um, I can't remember what else we did, but it was a busy, long day. We did a lot of walking. We were basically out from 9am to after the Moulin Rouge show. So it was a very long day. So knowing that that's most likely going to be a similar case today, I'm really struggling with what to wear because you want to look cute, obviously. But then I know I'm going to be doing a lot of walking, so it's like finding a balance. It's like cute, but also comfortable. Um because I think today we're going to have breakfast at Harvey Nichols. We're going to go out to Green Park, walk through there, like around Buckingham Palace and everything. Hang on. I've got the itinerary I've been set for what we're doing today. So we're going to Harvey Nichols at 10 for breakfast. Then we're going to catch the tube to Green Park and walk through Buckingham Palace. Then we're going to go to German Street for my dad because it's his birthday today. And then we're going to go to Worsley Hotel if we can and try and get into high tea for two-ish. Um, although, I, that's the thing, I'm not really dressed for high tea, but I guess it's fine. Um, and then, probably going to try and head back to the hotel and get ready because we're going out for a nice dinner tonight um, at the Ned or something, which is a big club with like lots of restaurants. Um, and if we have time before that, maybe we'll try and hit Oxford shops, but I doubt we'll fit that in. Um, so that's kind of the plan today. Um, I'm wearing a very basic, simple outfit. It's, I mean, it's nothing cute today, but this is what we're wearing. Hard to tell. So I'm wearing these pants, which are like my new favorite pants. They're like jogger kind of pants, I guess, but they kind of almost look like my gray suit pants that I was wearing yesterday. I love them. They're so comfortable and still so cute. Then I'm wearing this like Stax um, little like singlety tank top, which again, I love. Um, it's Stax uh, other brand Second Left, which if you've not checked out yet, you should. It's their new um, 
brand and then just a denim jacket and my sneakers because I know I cannot walk very far in like my converse or something um, so yeah that's what we're doing today I'll try and take you with me um, I'm gonna go see what's happening we're now in Hyde Park so pretty All the swans and geese and seagulls. Look at that weird black duck. Oh, we've been so lucky with the weather. It is so nice. What a baby. Okay, so we're back for the day, uh, like back for the afternoon. It's 5.30, my feet are killing me, I'm hot, I'm sweaty. It is so nice outside, it's been such a beautiful day. It didn't rain again, it's cloudy but mostly blue sky. Um, it's, it is, look I'm like sweaty. I literally just walked in the door. It is 22 degrees Celsius. 40% humidity. Not bad. Um, but there's also like a nice breeze outside, so it's really nice. Wow. The wealth here, I have to say, is astounding. We're staying in a hotel right by Harrods. Um, in like we're in the Knightsbridge area, which is obviously by like Belgravia. Knightsbridge is very nice. Um, like all the kind of like Mayfair, all the surrounding areas are very nice. Um, so the cars we are seeing are insane. Rolls Royces, Bentleys. I just saw a Rolls Royce SUV, Bentley SUVs, Aston Martins, uh, Ferraris, and Maseratis. Like all super fancy Mercedes, super fancy BMWs, like top of the range, like nice cars. Um, but yeah, it's so nice around here. Um, but today, I don't think I caught any of it beforehand. It would have been before the clip of Hyde Park, um, of the big lake. We did some, we popped into a, another vintage shop. We did some vintage like shop browsing yesterday. Didn't really see anything I loved. We went to one my mum's been to several times before in Knightsbridge. It's called Pandora. Um, it's a bit more like of the like designer brands um, kind of vintage shop. It was so good. There was so many nice things, so many nice brands, 
definitely not your cheaper kind of like thrifting secondhand vintage store so but if you're willing to spend a little bit more money for some nicer more expensive pieces um, that are pretty were pretty much all in like amazing condition then I would definitely check it out it's called Pandora um, and so I got three things I'm very excited about so I was with the two jackets this entire trip I bought my blazer and my denim jacket hoping to find something else I could possibly wear now I don't know if it was in a vlog, but I recently bought a Glassons trench. The beige, like the classic beige trench. Love it, obsessed with it. It's my first trench coat. I wanted to bring it on this trip because I wanted to wear it in London. And I wish I had because literally everybody is wearing a trench and it just looks so cool. But I wanted room in my bag for shopping. And if I added the trench, it was gonna take up a lot of room. So I decided otherwise, but so I was look, kind of on the lookout for another one while I was here, maybe like a grey one or like a khaki green one or something. I found one and it wasn't ridiculously expensive and it's stunning, so let me show you. This is the damage that we did today. I'm obsessed with this trench. I've never even heard of this brand before. Now I don't know if this is vintage or not at all because the woman said that it was new today it's brand new with tags and all. So maybe someone just gave up a brand new coat. I don't know. But the brand is Miotine. Miotine. And look at it. It's like a baby blue gray. It's more baby blue. It's like a gorgeous, gorgeous baby blue gray color and I'm obsessed it is so nice and it's got the buttons and the tie <gasps> oh my god that not so gorgeous I'm so obsessed with it it is so cool then so this was actually the second thing I found the first thing I found I've been in the market for a, um, a leather jacket. Now this was not the kind of leather jacket I wanted. I wanted a really just cool, kind of oversized black one. But I saw this and I couldn't resist. Oh, by the way, this was 115 pounds. So like, an amazing deal for an awesome, stunning trench coat. Look at this. I don't know if I would normally have gone for something like this. Look at all of the painted flower details on this brown leather jacket. I love a good brown leather. I've got several brown leather pieces. This is by the brand Marcane. Marcane. This was also brand new tags on, so I don't know the situation with these pieces, but it's stunning. It's so cool. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm going to put that on too. Are you kidding me? Is that not so cool? And it's double breasted, so I can do it up. Ugh. Stunning. I'm literally so. I think that's so cool. Amazing selection of really awesome bags, like designer vintage bags. I've been wanting a bag like this for so long. And I found one in a vintage shop. It is secondhand. It has been used, but it is in basically brand new, impeccable condition. A black and gold Dior saddlebag, which, as you all know, are very much back in right now. And I love the black. It's just classic. It's stunning. It's I mean, it's in perfect condition so I found this day extremely successful shopping wise and vintage shopping wise this is vintage by the way I'm not sure how old it is it's got a little bit of tiny scuffs but like you literally can't even notice it if you, unless you're not right right up close I mean it, they don't fit a whole ton so it's definitely like an evening bag 
or a bag where you know you don't need to take a whole lot. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Such a successful day. But I'm going to rest my feet for probably 10 minutes and then I'm going to start getting ready for dinner. I'm going to a place called The Ned tonight which is apparently a big club with really several like really cool restaurants and it's a distance away so we've got a we've been tubing everywhere besides walking which is really fun so I'm gonna have to get ready not sure what I'm wearing um, but yeah it's been a pretty good day we've done a lot of things we saw Buckingham Palace which you saw a clip of just before it's all blocked off because they are packing up from the Jubilee business from the weekend so a lot of that area was kind of blocked off you couldn't get closer to it than what I got because um, they're packing up all the seating and everything from that um, but yeah good day we've had such good weather tomorrow we rented a car which I'm very excited about we've got like a fancy Mercedes or something so I'm very excited about that um, but yeah you guys I love it here I literally don't even know how to explain it I love it here so much. I'm just so happy here. I feel at home here. This literally feels like home to me. I wanted to live here since I was 17 years old and it, that's never altered. Um, this is always kind of where I wanted to end up um, or at least live for an extended amount of time in my life. I love it here so much. It is just everything, everything. I love it. I, I walk around with a constant smile on my face. Um, so hopefully in the next year or so I can make that happen. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just chill for a little bit before we're like, getting ready for dinner and I'll see you later. Whoa.